Okay guys, I sincerely apologize for how long it's taken me to get another review out. Things have just been so hectic lately, and you know, I've been out of town, I've been dealing with just other things in life, I've been directing a short film, and I got in a fight with a wildebeest. I won. Okay, so I'm here to review The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Okay, so this is the second chapter of The Hobbit Saga, as all of you know. Um, and as many people know, my favorite trilogy of all time is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So the idea that I get to see more of Middle-earth is fantastic. And how did it fare? Um, well, it was absolutely fantastic, to say the least. I absolutely loved the film. Um, I, I actually liked it better the second time I watched it. And if you guys are wondering why I'm being all handy cam selfie, um, it's because I wanted to get this review out to you guys quick because I feel how... Well, I feel bad how long it's taken, and I just want to get something out for you guys. So you know I'm not just, like, abandoning you like that wildebeest did to fight me. It's spectacular. The visuals are amazing. Um, the acting actually improved in uh, how a lot of people complained about the special effects of the first one, uh, where everyone was like, oh, it's too CG-ish and stuff. That did bother me in the first one, and I almost feel like this one had less of a problem. So, if that makes sense, like, they almost had more practical effects for this one, or they cleaned up the special effects pretty well, in which case, good job, movie. Um, Smaug is absolutely fantastic in this film, and actually, I enjoyed his part more than the Riddles in the Dark segment with Gollum, dare I say, but he also had Benedict Cumberbatch as Smaug, and, well, Benedict Cumberbatch is, like, my BFF, so I kind of have some favoritism towards the Cumber of Batches. Um, this is going to sound weird, but the first film, I preferred the, the beginning of the first Hobbit film to the intro of this Hobbit film. I feel like the intro was better of Hobbit Part 1, but the middle and climax of Part 2 are far superior to Part 1. If that makes sense to you guys, um, I spent a lot of my time watching the movie um, just kind of like ingesting the world in and the whole segment with the elves is pretty good. Um, Legolas's segment I felt like he was cool but it, did anybody else notice that his eyes were like bright blue in this and in the Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, his eyes aren't like neon blue like they have him in the movie. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe there's some elf thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just his time of the month. You could tell he was a different person than he was in Lord of the Rings, pretty much, where he was kind of a jerk in this. Um, and there was a segment that, that those of you who watched the movie will know what I mean, is there's a spot where he wipes blood off of his mouth, and I just kept thinking, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! So, in the end, guys, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug is a great time. I saw it in IMAX and not IMAX. Go see it in IMAX. That is a must. IMAX is far superior. Okay, and also, if you guys didn't know, I did a collaboration review, sort of review, it's hard to explain, you should just go check it out, of our favorite Christmas songs over at the channel's Bright Eyes Long Lashes. I put a link in the description below. Um, and I was so honored to be in a video collaboration, because I've now done this for a year now, and my goal by the end of the year was to have a video collaboration with another YouTuber, other than my pal Chris over at GSTV Studios. No offense to you, Chris. Um, and and I did, and I feel so honored. The people with, with Schmoes No were in it. Leah from Bright Eyes Long Lashes was in it. It was fantastic. I hope you guys see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My top 10 review should be coming within the next two days.